and welcome to Michael Pepper Tech. Today I have a video for you about the Tab S8 Aldra keyboard and trackpad case and in particular some tips and tricks and things that I haven't seen other people mention for you to better live with your technology because I don't only talk tech but I live it. Let's get into it. First thing I want to show you is that the function key Normally you have to hold that and then do the function commands. So for like adjusting your brightness and everything. But the first tip, and you may or may not be able to see this in the lighting, but there's a little dot in the upper right hand corner. So if you press and hold the key and it takes about three seconds, you'll see now it says function key unlocked. Press and hold it again. When it lights up, function key locked. Now I can raise and lower the brightness without touching the function key at all. You know, same thing for your volume and your keyboard brightness and uh, search and going into DAX mode. Next thing I want to show you is you'll see right here that there is three keys and what they say are apps one, app two, and app three. And if you want to assign shortcuts to those, what you do is when you're within an app, you just press and hold one of them. And after about three seconds, now it says YouTube has been assigned. So if I want to go, so like into Twitter, I have apps two already assigned for that. Apps three is for Chrome. Next thing I want to talk about is dragging. So I have the edge panel and I want to open that. Rest my finger on the trackpad, wait a few seconds, and just drag out takes about two seconds and just resting your finger on the trackpad becomes a drag. So now if I want to bring that into split screen, I'm just going to press and hold. You'll see it changes to like a fist, drag and drop there. Same thing for changing the size. A long press basically on the trackpad acts as a drag. Now the reason for that is if you go into settings, search for mouse and trackpad and underneath that you'll see that you have tap to click down here you're going to want that on so that way you don't have to physically press and hold the trackpad down it's really handy for if you have this on your lap or on like a pillow or an uneven surface that you don't want to physically click on same thing with this is where you can change the scrolling direction as far as if you want it like natural or reversed this is also where you can change the pointer speed and the scrolling speed. Another tip is to go home, you can just swipe down with three fingers. Swipe up with three fingers brings you into the app switcher. I do wish that you could just kind of do a long press and drag those into place, but you have to physically hit the uh, icon there and go into select split screen. So I can swipe up to bring up all of them. Again, swipe down with three fingers to split screen, or to go home, excuse me. Now if I'm within an app and I want to switch apps, I can just swipe with three fingers. See, I had a, a split screen open, so it goes to those. Same thing to go to the next, back and forth here. Swipe up, you know, if you have a bunch of them open. Swiping up with two fingers to close them. If you're in an app, and let's say I need to, um, I'm in notifications, I want to go home, I need to do the reverse gesture. You got to bring your mouse over to the edge and then swipe with two fingers and it acts as a back. Um, you can bring it over to the other edge on the right hand side and do the same thing but it will do that within the other app. So when you're in split screen, it will do that within the right app. And so you gotta go back and forth. I wish that they would just make it a simple gesture. Now, if I swipe in with two fingers, you see it brings open a panel. Same thing over here, if there was a panel for that app. And then I can just swipe down with three fingers to go home. Those are some tips and tricks as far as the trackpad and the keyboard. Also, you have alt tab to bring home that you can do um, to go home you can 
bring up other gestures there. You can function and hit this key and it brings up the on-screen keyboard, again, to get rid of it. Function and this key will bring input to if I have another device set up because you can pair this keyboard with another device within those settings there. And so these are some quick tips and tricks for you. If you found those helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have any other tips and tricks or questions, please put those in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.